Hey everyone, so one of the most common questions I get on this channel is what is my favorite phone? So in this video we're going to be covering my top three. Now a few things to note, so on this channel we do cover all the major phones, all the major flagships, not just Sony, um, but there are a couple upcoming ones, the LG V20, the Pixel XL, not out yet, the uh, Pixel XL getting next week, the LG V20 getting tomorrow, but again as of the making this video can't include them. They do look very promising though, so chance to crack the top three in future videos. Um, this also, this list in no particular order. And finally, if there are similar phones, for example, the Xperia XZ, the Xperia X performance, pretty similar, just going to include the best of the two. Um, not going to include duplicate versions. So let's get started. Again, guys, no order here, but the first one I'll show you, the iPhone 7 Plus. So I'm going to cover things I like about, things I don't like about it. Uh, first of all, the camera on this, excellent. You have dual cameras on the back, provide for really good zoom, uh, best zoom on any phone that I own. Also, the phone is waterproof, again, a feature I really love there. Uh, IP67 certified, the phone is extremely, extremely fast. One of the fastest, if not the fastest on the market. And also, the battery on here is excellent. Um, so, things I don't like about it, it is an iOS phone, of course. Um, and I know a lot of you guys like iOS, but personally, I prefer Android. Uh, so no matter how good the hardware on this is, I will always prefer Android regardless. Um, so yeah, that's the first negative for me personally. Um, also, no micro SD card. Uh, now this is something that is no Apple phone, so not surprising there. Costs a lot of money if you want to upgrade from 32 to uh, 128 storage. And also, I'm not a big fan of the design on it. Just a little bit outdated, particularly the screen. So this is uh, around 326 pixels per inch. Not a Super AMOLED or anything like that, like the Galaxy phone. Doesn't get that bright. Also, you have a lot of bezels on the sides here, top and bottom. So, I mean, the design on it, I wouldn't really consider it negative, but more so the screen on it could be a whole lot better. Um, and then also the big thing, which probably a lot of you guys know about, no headphone jack. So, already had some issues there, just... I mean, they do give you an adapter, but just for example, brought to work, forgot about the uh, headphone jack, didn't have my adapter, so couldn't listen to music. So, yeah, guys, again, excellent phone, one of my top three, but are some negatives, are some positives. Now, next up, Galaxy S7 Edge. Now, this would have been the Note 7, but of course, that phone's not going to be supported anymore, so definitely cannot include that. Um, so for the S7 Edge, things I love about it. Screen on this, excellent. Super AMOLED, 2K screen, edges on the sides, really beautiful screen, gets extremely bright in the sunlight. Probably my favorite on any phone to date, aside from the Note 7. Um, although it is very similar to the Note 7 screen. The camera on here, excellent as well. Not the best for videos in my opinion, but in terms of pictures, great camera. Um, the design on this, so it kind of goes along with the screen, but really beautiful design, all glass, glass and metal. And right now you guys can see one of the downsides is you do get a lot of fingerprints on it, but in my opinion, one of the best looking smartphones on the market. Also really like that it's waterproof, IP68 certified, so uh, even higher certification there than the iPhone 7 Plus and also the battery on it is great So things I don't like about it now. This is for the Verizon version uh, this is Kind of laggy it's a lot faster if you get the international version for example So this is a snapdragon version, but me being on Verizon. This is my only option uh, So if you guys see the speed test I do covering stuff like the fingerprint scanner app opening uh, you'll see that easily beaten by most of my other phones. So it is a big thing because in day to day it really adds up. You know, just web browsing, just opening up apps adds up. Um, the speaker on it, not that great, but really, I don't really care that much about that. Um, and also, so at this point, you know, the phone's like seven months, eight months old at this point. Um, so that basically means that there's certain features. For example, this is micro USB rather than uh, USB Type C. You know, guys, I mean, seven months in smartphone terms is an eternity. And, of course, they did have the Note 7, but you all know the story behind that. So, finally, and 
probably no surprise any of you here, the Xperia XZ. So things I like about it, uh, the camera on this, especially for video, is excellent. Uh, probably my favorite in terms of video. Now for video, uh, I am currently filming this with an Xperia Z5. Really like the sound quality, really like the video footage on Xperia phones, particularly if you're outside uh, using AIM stabilization, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best of all the phones I own. Um, it is, of course, waterproof IP68, so cer uh, same certification as the Galaxy S7 Edge. Um, also, the design and comfort on this feel excellent, best on any Xperia to date. Beautiful design here, you see this forest blue color. Top and the bottom, both tubular designs, so you do have a little bit of curve to it. Obviously, no one here is pronounced as the S7 Edge, although it is actually more comfortable than the S7 Edge to hold. So again, great design on it, and it is extremely fast, uh, a lot faster than the S7 Edge. Again, that is a Snapdragon version, but it is a lot faster than that. Pretty much of everything with day-to-day uh, -day use with web browsing, uh, camera speed. Now for things I don't like about the phone. So this is a really big one. The phone is not CDMA compatible. So what that means is it does not work on my network, Verizon Wireless. Um, so of course that's a huge pain because I cannot use this as my personal phone outside. I can only use the Wi-Fi on it. Now I do use this as my work phone. My work, uh, for the uh, company I work for, we use AT&T and that is GSM. So this is GSM phone. I can use it as my work phone, but really wish I could use it as my personal phone. So I have to use phones like the Galaxy S7 Edge, my main one for the uh, personal and the iPhone 7. So really, uh, Sony, get that together for the next one. Release the CDMA version. So uh, uh, us guys on Sprint on Verizon can actually use the phone. Um, also in the United States, no fingerprint scanner, but you can uh, flash it if you want and get access to that. Uh, so yeah, for the most part that covers it. Xperia XZ, iPhone 7 Plus, Galaxy S7 Edge, all excellent phones. And you notice a few things in common with this. So the big things, waterproof. These are, I think these are the only three like I, I think LG, HTC, I don't think they're doing waterproofing, so that's a big reason why I picked these. Also, the cameras on these, in my opinion, better than any other cameras. Um, and as you guys know, look at my channel. Really love cameras, really love uh, doing outdoor videos, especially with uh, water conditions. So last month was in Miami. Uh, took a lot of pool videos, a lot of uh, beach videos, stuff like that. So only possible on these phones. And again, love the cameras on them. So win-win there. And aside from that, not many disadvantages to them. Uh, all have great battery life and pretty good designs as well. So yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. Just want to get my top three. So uh, let you guys know what my top three phones are. Again, the Pixel XL, uh, LG V20 are coming out uh, this and next week. So really excited to test those out. Maybe it'll crack the top three. Alright guys, thanks again for watching and let me know in the comment section what video you want to see next.